Early contact with people is so important for our pups to grow up into well-adjusted dogs. Before puppies reach 12 weeks of age, they should meet lots of different people of all shapes and sizes, so that they aren't scared of strangers later in life. Well-socialised pups actually grow up to be more confident, more loving and even better at problem-solving. In the countryside of Dartmoor, our two-week-old English pointer pup, Molly, has a visitor. This is two-year-old Minka, who is desperate for a puppy of her own. It's Molly's first encounter with a little human. Part of Molly's brain that's devoted to analysing smells is 40 times bigger than ours. And the information she's sniffing is helping her to understand what a human is. This one comes in a woolly cardigan, smelling of sweets. Molly seems to approve of her new human friend. And it looks like the feeling is mutual. Nobody enjoys a good cuddle more than Basil and his brothers. You can't see it, but Basil is getting a chemical kick out of this cuddle session. Just three minutes of petting releases a wave of hormones that makes Basil feel happy, relaxed and more strongly bonded to his human owner. It's a bond that will last a lifetime, and it's why our pups make such good friends. But sometimes being part of the human world can be slightly scary. Our Bassets are getting to know one terrifying monster brought to life by the humans of the household. The Hoover. To these pint-sized pups, this is a strange machine that gobbles up everything in front of it. But confident Basil is showing off just how brave he really is. And gets up close and personal to investigate this noisy visitor. Some pups like Basil are hardwired to be fearless. And he's showing off his confidence. But his sisters would rather keep their distance. At this age, it's normal for our puppies to be afraid of new things. But this one may never make friends with this strange-looking beast.